This is a tutorial on how to do digital scrapbooking with GIMP. Um, the first thing you will need to do is to go to the Windows layer in the top tab and open up Dockable Dialogs and you will see a drop down window and select Layers and a Layers window will open up over here. The next thing you need to do is to go to File and Open um, you will need to find a scrapbook background um, which you have previously downloaded and stored in a file somewhere and I have several of those stored in a folder and we'll select a background for our photo the next thing you will need to do is go to File and open again and select the picture you would like to scrapbook. Let's see, there's one. So in your paper background window, go over to the Layers dialog and select um, the little white rectangle down here. And that is um, to create a new layer. And you want a transparency. So click OK. <clears throat> and then go over to your picture window and click Edit, Copy, and then return to your paper background. And in the new layer, you're going to select Edit and Paste. And this will um, paste your image into the scrapbook paper. It will completely occlude it, but don't worry about that. Um, the next thing you're going to do is, going, is to go to the toolbox and select the Scale button. And you're going to scale your picture down. For some reason, mine is absolutely huge, so this is going to take a moment. and then you can select the Move button. It's a good idea to select um, Move the Active Layer in the toggle box down here. Otherwise you might move the paper background. And uh, well, I, I'm going to have to rescale this a couple of times here. This is quite a big image. And once we have the image scaled proportionately, we can move it to where we would like it on the page. And then the next thing you need to do once your image has been scaled and moved to where you want it is to anchor the layer. And then you can go into File, Open, and select a picture frame or other embellishment you would like to add to your page. So we'll add a, a picture frame here. choose a blue frame. And again, we will edit, copy, and then we're going to go back to the scrapbook page. We're going to create another new layer. <clears throat> and then in this next layer, we're going to paste the frame. So we'll go to edit and paste. And again, it is absolutely massive, so we're going to rescale this quite substantially. And we will move it into position as we scale it. This won't always happen, but it may, depending on the um, 
image size of your background paper. And what we want to do is to scale the frame to fit around the picture. So we're going to scale this down a bit. And we will move the frame so that it fits over the picture. And once we are happy with its placement, we will click Anchor Layer. The next thing we need to do is go to um, File and open another embellishment, whatever we would like to add. So perhaps we will add um, Oh, some word art so we can um, copy this go back to the paper background page add a new layer and paste the word art into the new layer and we will have to scale this down as well And I created the uh, word art for this um, using the how to make a logo tutorial. We'll anchor that layer. And you can continue adding layers and embellishments until you're happy with the way that the scrapbook page looks. Um, many scrapbook pages will have upwards of 20 layers until you're happy with the way it is. After the layers are anchored, you can still move them. Um, I can move this anywhere I would like on the page. Uh, by clicking on the individual layers, you can move those objects. So I can move the frame and I can move the picture. So if I move the frame over here and then I can click on the boy's picture and move the picture underneath the frame again. If um, for some reason you decide to add a picture after the frame and you're unhappy with the placement, for instance, the, the picture may be on top of the frame and you want it underneath the frame, that is really easy to fix. All you have to do is go over to the green arrows at the bottom of the layers dialog and click up or down to move the layers up or down. So you can see by toggling that the picture is on top of the frame and then under the frame. The same thing with the word art. If we place the word art here, you can see it going underneath the frame in the photo. Um, don't panic about that. That's very easy to fix. Just use the green arrows to bring the image up. Um, and that's basically how you create a digital scrapbook page. When you're completely done, you save it um, as a JPEG and then flatten the image, export it, and um, once it's saved as a JPEG on your drive, you can upload it to a site like scrapbookplease.com and have the papers printed out in an 8x8 or 12x12 format to place in a standard scrapbook album.